Hey, this is Rob from Producer Tech, and in this movie I'll be giving you a rundown of Sigmund, a multi-tap delay effect from D16, which is available on the Plugin Boutique website. Sigmund is a seriously versatile plugin that you can use to create sounds like this. A good delay is a great tool to have in your collection especially when it's one as extensive as Sigmund, with four fully customizable delays and two LFOs offering a host of modulation options too. This means you can create a wide range of effects in order to add extra width and character to sounds in your mix. I thought it would be good to use some of Live's factory clips to demonstrate this, so I've got a simple drum beat loaded onto a track here. When you first turn it on, you get the classic delay sound straight away with a single short delay creating a stuttered effect. The delay's time controls are in the middle of the delay parameters section here, and allow you to change the time of the delay in the left and right channels, which are currently linked. Or you can set the left and right channels independently if you prefer, in order to make more of a stereo effect. And of course, the delay can be synced too, so you can create rhythmic effects that are in time with your track. Then below that, there's the classic feedback control for increasing the level of the delayed signal that's sent back through the effect to be delayed again. So that's shown you the kind of sounds you hear on most delays. But with Sigmund, there are a load of other options. Firstly, there's a multi-mode resonant filter, which I can set to a particular type like low pass, and then roll off some of the high frequencies in the delay. As well as make it a bit more colorful by adding some resonance. Then below in the modulation section, I can turn up the cutoff dial and then choose one of the LFOs to modulate the cutoff by that amount. The LFOs rate can again be set freely or to a synced amount, with a load of waveform options to choose from too. Supposing I like this effect, but I want to make a few changes to it now, then I can use the mixer section to move on to one of the other multi-tap delays. Here you can see select and mute switches for choosing which delay you edit and whether they're on or off, or for using to duplicate delays by holding down command on my Mac and then pasting a delay from one slot to another. This then allows me to make some changes to it, like maybe changing the delay time, and filter settings, and then maybe mixing the two delays together with whatever levels of each that I want. Another cool section here is the overdrive module, where you can add distortion to the delay for extra effect. If the signal ever gets too loud, then you can always switch the filter to post mode, which then places it after the overdrive section, so you can shape the distorted signal. There's also an optional limiter on the output though, which means you can make sure any crazy signal fluctuations are kept under control. One other cool thing about the filter is that you can use it to filter the feedback loop as well as the pre-delayed signal which is another way of getting more control over the sound. For example, I've got a short delay here which is being run through a modulated high-pass filter. If I wanted to extend the effect now with more feedback, then the sound gets quite loud and colourful. However, turning on the feedback switch in the filter section means that the filter also processes the feedback loop, 
to roll off a lot of that bottom end in the same rhythmic way. Also in the modulation section is a time dial, which means you can use the LFOs to modulate the delay time. This really opens up the plugin, as it means you can use it to create phaser, flanger or chorus effects, depending on the size of the delay. If I keep the delay small first and make the LFO rate a bar, then if I turn up the feedback a bit so it's easier to hear, and then increase the time so it's more like flanging. Then I can increase the time a bit more, bring the feedback down, and unlink the left and right channels to create more of a chorus effect. With all these different controls, you have so many options for creating unique sounds that combine any or all of these sections. Plus, the routing section means you can change the signal path to place the delays one after another, for example, rather than going independently to the output, as well as a load of other configurations here. And there's even the option to process the mid and side signals, rather than the left and right, if you felt so inclined. Of course, if you'd like to try out some of the factory settings, you can browse through the presets, which are categorized into two groups, bar aligned for processing drums or synths, and general purpose, where you can then choose any number of different effects. In this session then, I've got Sigmund on the main drums, which is using several of the delays to create some nice movement and character. Whilst the other parts, which are again fairly simple clips from Live's library, have Sigmund being used, firstly to add a bit of shifting colour to this bongo loop, and then to add more presence and stereo width to this bass sample. And together, you can hear just how much the sound is transformed when the instances of Sigmund are turned on and off. So that's shown you how powerful a tool Sigmund is for creating all kinds of different effects to help add interest and character to your mix. To find out more and get hold of Sigmund, check out the effects page at pluginboutique.com. <laughs>